to my channel Chucks and Chapstick. Whether it's your first time or you're new here, I ask that you sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and consider subscribing by hitting uh, the subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Um, so during my last video, uh, after <laughs> I watched it, I realized that I had told you guys a big fat lie. And that lie was that I had not done any shopping. And I haven't really done any shopping as far as like new clothes, you know, new shoes or anything like that. But what I did do is shop for new workout clothes. Uh, a lot of it actually started when I had my ankle surgery in the summer of 2019. And then once I started really getting my mobility back and everything and things were going well, then the pandemic hit. So I had been out of the gym for a long, long time. And, um, you know, I love to sweat. I love to move. I love to like feel my muscles. And I, it, I was just in a really rough place. And so once I actually kind of got motivated to get back in the gym, get started again, a couple of months ago, I just also wanted stuff that felt good. Like some people are okay going to the gym in just their old ratty clothes, and that's fine. No judgment there. But when I go to the gym, I want to, you know, feel good. I want to feel good about what I have on, even though I'm about to sweat it up, funk it up. <laughs> so I am going to go through today and kind of talk about the things that I bought for myself and what my opinions are, especially as a person who, you know, is plus size and, you know, workout wear and just give you my opinions on how they fit, feel, and just kind of what I think about them. So anyway, just stick around for a few moments and we'll uh, get started. I just am going to apologize to you because I know that I look incredibly tired and that's because I am. <laughs> uh, it's I've just been, for whatever reason, just not sleeping well the last few days. I think a lot of it has to do with the weather change. Spring is here. <laughs> and uh, spring said, hey girl, <laughs> just seemed like she just you know my allergies have been it just seems like my allergies have been off the chain so I think all of that kind of plays into why it is I'm not sleeping well and I'm kind of tired so I know I usually look a little more made up and refreshed uh but yeah this is this is this is real life <laughs> The first item that I'm going to talk about is the All In Motion Sports Bra from Target. And that's just this blue one here. This is a medium support sports bra. Um, it does have the little slit where you can take the kind of padding in and out. As I leave the padding in it, there's just no reason for me to take it out with, you know, I just don't. Um, I like that it has a really thick band. I like that banding and the banding is, is really soft. And because I have a bigger stomach, I like that it's wide. Um, because sometimes the banding is not really wide and so it ends up kind of cutting into you. And I don't, you know, that's really uncomfortable. So I like that it has a wide band. The other thing is that it does have that racer back. This material is super, super soft, and it also does not have adjustable straps. For some people, that might be a deal breaker, but for me, because it's so stretchy, I just, I didn't find that that was a deal, deal breaker. Um, I also love this color. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know how it's going to hold up. Uh, I've had it for about two months, and so far it's done really well in the washer machine. Um, I wouldn't hesitate to buy another one of these, but it is a $20 sports bra, so don't think, you know, it's going to take you into oblivion. I like that it has a nice wide side because that's important for making sure that your boob isn't, like, hanging out the side. I've had sports bras that barely covered places um even though they were extra large or double x and you're just like come on man come on <laughs> so anyway that is target all in motion um it's like 20 bucks not bad at all hey. 
So I did initially try Girlfriend Collective's regular sports bra, but because I do have a short torso, it hit in kind of an odd place. It was too long to be a regular sports bra, but then too short to be a tank. So it was, it was for me, uncomfortable. Um, so when they came out with this bra, I'm like, wow, let me give it a try. So it has a cross back. It does have the regular... Uh, sliders where you can you know tighten it but in addition to that this also has stretch so you have lots of ways to adjust and still have that stretch for that mobility um, it does not have a molded cup at all or padding but if you uh, make this sports bra or this top I shouldn't call it a sports bra but if you make this top tight enough it will give you plenty of uh, compression now it also has a clasp in the back like a regular bra so you do have the ability to adjust it um, and then this right here this banding is just so super soft um, you would think that because these are made out of recycled water bottles <laughs> that these uh, this these what they make wouldn't be soft and breathable, but it is very soft and breathable. And oh my goodness, I just, I mean, I don't have any complaints about these. Um, so this is actually my preference when it comes to um, the Girlfriend Collective brand as far as the bra that I like to wear. In fact, I have three of them. <laughs> I have a green, a brown, and a purple. Um, and I just, I really like them. Would I, use these to run a marathon no i also am not running a marathon so for my needs going to the gym doing a little jump rope and doing a little weight lifting and all that other stuff being on the bike this is perfectly fine <music> So speaking of Girlfriend Collective, I actually have their pants as well. I have lots of colors of their leggings. I prefer their leggings that are, um, that come down to right above my ankle. Um, it's the same material. They're nice and high waisted for me because one thing that I've noticed as a person, as a plus size person, that what is high waisted for someone who doesn't have a tummy uh, is not high waisted for me because I do have hips tummy. You know, so what's high waisted for somebody else, if you have a flat stomach, will barely even hit my belly button. So I'm glad the Girlfriend Collective actually makes the rise higher based off of the size so that's a nice long high rise and it doesn't like even as i'm moving it's not like rolling and pulling and all that other stuff like it's really it fits really well they have the pockets in the back where you can put your i guess you keys or even if you have like an iPad or something like that you can put it in there the other thing I did want to mention is that with all of your purchases you get this little garment bag oh sorry that's the light is kind of blowing that out I apologize there we go um you get this little garment bag that has girlfriend collective on it so you can just kind of it's a good way to just you know pack your stuff <laughs> Have you ever been looking for something on the internet and then next thing you know you're on Facebook and you're getting ads for all kinds of things related to your internet search? Well that is where I found out about this bra. So this bra is called the She Fit Bra, right? And so if you've ever seen the commercials for She Fit, you see women like, ooh, ooh, strapping themselves in, ooh, ready for action. And I'm like, ooh, I want to strap myself in and be ready for action too. So I was inspired by those ads to buy one of these bras. Now, uh, this they have different levels of support. This bra is a um, high support, like it's the highest most impact support bra and it is very very structured um it's got molded cups you can kind of even hear it if you listen it's got molded cups it is a uh, pretty thick fabric um but what is cool about she fit which i think is really innovative is that it's adjustable the straps are adjustable and then the back 
is adjustable. That is a, a Velcro strap. And the reason why is because just because I'm a size 18 doesn't mean I'm built in every way like another size 18. Same thing with a size four. Just because you're a size four doesn't mean that your weight and your everything is distributed the same way as another size four. So allowing for all of these adjustments in a bra just really make sure that you get a fit that is right for you specifically. And I think that that's, I just think it's in Now you're gonna pay for this bra, but I just think that that's really innovative. It zips up the front, it has a really heavyweight, durable zipper. And then at, to make sure that you're not getting chafed or anything by the zipper, you have this little fabric cover, um, which I think is also neat at the top and the bottom. Um, I, yeah, you can take the pads out here. I was about to say, I, I don't know if you can take them out or not. But yeah, it's got a little slit where you can take them out there. Um, now, getting into this thing is is a, is a, is a chore. Uh, but once you're in it, you know, you're good to go. It is not one of those ones where you are like, oh, after the gym, I'm just going to run to the grocery store and do some other things, you know, in my gym clothes real quick. Now, by the time your workout's over, you're ready to take it off. And that's not to say that it's uncomfortable, but it's just so structured that, you know, you're not going to really forget that you have it on. Um, but I would highly recommend it. And, I mean, the fact of the matter is, is that I bought another one <laughs> in the medium impact, so clearly I was okay with it. We covered a national chain retailer to an online only retailer to one that I just found out about through Facebook ads that is a kind of on the pricier side. But I think it just goes to show that no matter what your price point is, that there is something uh, out there for you. You just got to take a spin and give it a try. Um, I will actually link below uh, the websites and if there's any kind of like friends and family code or anything like that, it may actually get you some money off as far as a referral codes are concerned. Um, but I would encourage you to go ahead and give some of those brands a try. Maybe you were thinking about some of them. Maybe you were like me and searching on Facebook and like, oh man, look at these ladies. They look like they ready for battle in their brawls, <laughs> you know. So uh, maybe this information gave you that last little bit that you needed to say, nah, it's not for me, or you know what, I think I might give it a try. Um, but anyway, um, of course, if you have any comments, suggestions, or you just want to say hello, you know to do it below. But otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye!